Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. Today I'm gonna to share with you what I'm packing in my Operation Christmas Child boxes. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I am a childcare provider for up to five children between the ages of one and four every day. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. I've been partnering with an organization called Samaritan's Purse for over 20 years. And, and this organization does amazing things for people. And one of the things that I love to do is pack a shoebox for Operation Christmas Child. And what that is, is you pack up a shoebox for a specific aged child, and you can check off either boy or girl. And then the organization picks all of the boxes up and ships them to countries all around the world for children in need. So I'm gonna just plow through all the things I picked up and then afterwards I'll have to <laughs> update you to see if I can actually fit them into a shoe box. The first girl box that I'm doing is for a girl between the ages of two and four. And I picked up this pastel Lego. It's a quite a big bag. And I like that it has a zipper so they'll have somewhere to store it once they open it. I also picked up this sweet little jumper from the Baby Gap and it has, has really, really cute little pineapples all over it and so I thought this was super cute. I got a toothbrush with a timer. I got this little mermaid doll with accessories. I got a mermaid pencil case. You can make designs with your fingers and move the sequins. So I thought this was super cute. I got a watermelon bath sponge, some hair brettes. I got a watermelon notebook and it just has and it just has lined paper inside. And some pastel crayons. I got this super cute comb that has a little pom-pom on the end. A watermelon cosmetic bag. Some pink sunglasses. One of those pens that has all different colors to choose from. A color your own pencil case. Some colored pencil crayons. hair elastics, and a unicorn projector. So that is what I purchased for my first box. So I'm hoping that I can fit that all inside. I might have to take some things out of its packages, but whatever doesn't fit, you can always donate the extra items and they use it to fill in the gaps if there are underpacked boxes. So I never worry if I overbuy. Most of the items in the second box are the same, but I'll just show you a couple of things that were different. I got a lollipop bath sponge. I got a mini puzzle, and I like that it's in a tin so that it's easy to store when they're finished. I got a ladybug nail scrubber. Some watermelon sunglasses hair baubles, a peach cosmetic bag, and a super sweet dress from the Baby Gap. And then the rest of the items are all the same. So I got a comb, some Legos, a notebook, a color your own pencil case, fancy pen, Timer with a toothbrush, neon crayons, miniature pencil crayons, some brettes, pastel crayons, the projector, the mermaid set. I'm also going to add a couple of pens into each of the boxes I'm making. So that box was also for a two to four year old girl. Now I'm moving on to two of the boy boxes. So the first thing I got was this 
super cute fire truck. This has lights and sounds, so I thought this was super cute. I also got the police car version and an ambulance. I got some bubbles, a package of Lego, and it's in the shape of a car. So that was kind of neat. A couple of combs, a race car and a toothbrush, a Sea World projector, some shark sunglasses with a super cute wave shirt from the Baby Gap with a pair of shorts, and then some school supplies. So I got some pencil crayons, a pair of scissors, a sharpener, some markers, and a little tin pencil case. So this is super cute. And this super cute Spider-Man ball. I got a lot of items that were sort of ocean related. The little wave shirt and, and the sunglasses and the Sea World. So I thought this little notebook was super cute to go along with all those things. And it has a lot of pages in it. I also got them one of those fancy pens with all the different colors on it. So that's it for the first boy box. And that was also for boys ages two to four. And then like the girl boxes, I have a lot of similar items. So I'll just go through this super fast. I got the same tin pencil case. This time I got a Batman ball. Got some pencil crayons, a package of 16 crayons, some blue sunglasses, some bubbles, some scissors, a pencil sharpener, fancy pen, a couple of combs, a notebook, some washable markers, a dinosaur projector, a toothbrush and car, some of these little trucks, a little Lego set, a puzzle in the little tin, and the last thing is a little outfit from the Baby Gap. This is a little dinosaur t-shirt. With some little khaki shorts. So that is what I picked up for my Operation Christmas Child boxes for 2020. And I'll update you when I have these all packed. So that was a bit like a Tetris game, but I did manage to get most of the items in. I'm donating a couple of extra items that didn't fit, but for the most part, I got all of it in. So let me just show you. First box, the second, the third, and the fourth. One trick I have is to put all the school supplies in the pencil cases and all the toiletries in the cosmetic bag. That way you're getting rid of a lot of the packaging. And so there you have it. They're all packed up and ready to go. The last step is to just check off if you bought it for a boy, a girl, and check off which age you're doing it for. And then they ask for a donation for the shipping costs. So you can fill out this part and stick it inside the box or you can just go directly to their website and donate. So that's it for 2020's Operation Christmas Child Box. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.